Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Spring 2021 Virtual Banquet. It's Friday, April 30th, and I hope you've all dressed for the occasion and you have your uh, chicken dinner or your vegetarian option in front of you. And so we're going to take you through. Oh, and there it is. Mine looks lovely. I hope to get to it uh, when it's not my part to speak. Uh, thank you, waiter, for bringing me that. And uh, we will continue through a long list, but we'll get through it pretty quick tonight of awards and celebrations, really celebrating the end of a great virtual convention. And without further ado, I know I was talking about chicken, but my favorite bird is Olivia Bird, our student chair uh, from Vieira High School in District 3. And Olivia is going to kick off the festivities tonight. Hello, everybody. Yeah, like Britt was saying, my name is Olivia Bird, and I'm your executive chair for this year. And I'm very excited to be here. And I'm just so proud of everybody and what we've all accomplished this year virtually with FSPA. And to kick things off, we're gonna go over our TikTok winners from the student rep TikTok competition. So in third place, we have JW Mitchell High School, the team from JW Mitchell. Congratulations, guys, your out of the box idea was great. In second place, we have a team from Doral Academy. This one was hilarious. Uh, your out of the box thinking was spectacular and congratulations. And in first place, we have a team from Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School who used actual boxes for their out of the box competition uh, idea. Congratulations, guys. You all did awesome and thank you for your entries. Moving along, I have the pleasure to introduce the Emerging Young Journalist category, which is awarded to freshman and sophomore student journalists. Your finalists are Felicity Chang from Pine View School, The Torch Web, Skylar Glenn from Haggerty High School, Blueprint. Sarah Sams from Dreyfus School of the Arts Marquis, and Jack Rivera's Trinity Preparatory School from the TrinityVoice.com. All right, thank you, Olivia, and I'm Adam Levesey. I'll take that over. And drum roll, please. Your emerging young journalist this year is Skylar Glenn, Haggerty High School. The judges were impressed with her diverse skills and showcased in multimedia, writing, and editing, and believe that Skylar has a strong journalism career ahead of her. Again, congratulations, Skylar. All right, now moving on, we are moving to our Journalist of the Year Awards. We have six categories to go over. The first one is Artist of the Year. This was actually exciting because this is our first year having the Artist of the Year. We had two finalists, uh, Sasha Bass from Dreyfus School of the Arts and Victoria Perez from Mass at Zelda Glazer High School. And the winner is Victoria Perez, Mass at Zelda Glazer. The judges said her collection of pieces, styles, and materials used to show a breadth of fine art skills and her unique style and form were evident in all of her work. Congratulations again, Victoria. Next up, Broadcast Student Journalist of the Year. Our finalists, Edward Franco, John A. Ferguson Senior High School, and Christopher Gomez, Christopher Columbus High School. And the winner is Christopher Gomez, Christopher Columbus High School. The judges commented on his solid soundbite selection, good writing, and excellent shooting and shot selection, and said his delivery carries a professionalism with professionalism with it and conveys a depth of knowledge. Congratulations, Christopher. All right. Now, designer of the year, our finalists, Chloe Evers, University High School, Catherine Ung, Dreyfus School of the Arts, and Michelle Zhou, Haggerty High School. And the winner is. Michelle Ung, Dreyfus School of the Arts. The judge complimented her excellent handle on hierarchy and balance within her layouts and the way she utilized color and typography to her advantage. Congratulations, Catherine. Just want to name check you there, Catherine. Catherine, Catherine Ong, as soon as I said it, congratulations, Catherine Ong. Sorry about that. All right, next up, photo multimedia web journalist of the year. Sorry, my notes were backwards. The finalists, Laura Blanco, Doral Academy High School, and Hayden Turner, Haggerty High School. And the winner is Laura Blanco, Doral Academy. The judges said Laura exhibits all of the qualities of a strong multimedia journalist, effectively writing, fronting a package, having shooting photos and videos, and publishing it in a user-friendly format online. Congratulations, Laura. 
Now, the 2021 Tom Pierce Photojournalist of the Year. Our finalists, Alexander Babadia, Mast at Zelda Glazer, and Catherine McCarthy, Boone High School. And the winner is Alexander Babadia from Mast at Zelda Glazer. The judges called his portfolio beautiful and said he has a great eye for making strong photographs with solid exposure and strong composition. Congratulations, Alexander. And now we have our writer of the year. Finalists are Lucas Goodwin, Haggerty High School, Sasha Smith, Dreyfus School of the Arts, and Zoe Yang, Haggerty High School. Young, sorry, Zoe Young, Haggerty High School. And the winner is Sasha Smith, Dreyfus School of the Arts. The judges were most impressed with her depth of a reporting and her ability to drop readers into a scene right away with the lead. Congratulations, Sasha. And now I'm pleased to bring you our gold medallion recipients for 2021. The gold medallion are composed of individuals who have made outstanding contributions to high school journalism in Florida for a minimum of five years who may be nominated for this award. The first gold medallion was presented at the 1979 convention to Alan Newharth, who was president of Gannett, Florida at the time. It was um, changed to recognize individuals who made significant contributions to scholastic journalism in particular. FSPA. Our first recipient is Veronica Levine, who has been a yearbook sales rep for hundreds of book over the years. She has been uh, at yearbook conventions for FSPA, CSPA, and others for over 15 years as a supporter and a lecturer. Even with the pandemic changing the face of yearbook, she is still working on every book in South Florida area, and the number of schools that she represents has increased, and her participation at the state level is fantastic. Congratulations, Veronica. Our next recipient is Morgan Miltner. Uh, Morgan has been involved in yearbook since middle school and founded the Strawberry Crest High School yearbook program when the school opened in 2009. For nine years, Morgan built a journalism program from 15 to 75 students across three class periods. The staff has won numerous awards over the years, including a 2019 crown, but more importantly, the school has grown to appreciate a culture of journalism that envelops the entire student body is seen not only through high buy rates, but also in the number of applicants to the class, over 200 in the spring of 2018, and it continues through to the overall excitement to be included and to get the yearbook every spring. Congratulations to Morgan Milner. Our third recipient is Maria Molina, who advises the broadcast media at American Heritage School and Plantation, a robust program that includes multiple staffs, and she assists with other media at the school. Maria served as president of FSPA from 2015 to 2017, giving countless hours of herself in the interest of providing opportunities for our students. She's also played a pivotal role in ensuring the success of broadcast competitions at the FSPA District 7 workshop, a one-day affair larger than most states scholastic journalism conventions. Congratulations, congratulations to Maria Molina. And our final gold medallion recipient for this year is Christina Porcelli. She is the yearbook, newspaper, and website advisor at Plant High School. And she not only judges for contests, but she attends the conventions, always volunteering to either proctor or judge. And she has worked tirelessly on the state convention, the regional workshops, and countless other journalism events and workshops. Her publications have won award, awards at all levels, from FSPA Best of Best to CSPA and NSPA Crowns and Pacemakers. Congratulations to our four gold medallion recipients for 2021. Hi, I'm Renee Burke. I'm the JEA State Director, and I am happy to announce the Todd C. Smith Student Journalist of the Year Awards. This actually honors the memory of a former scholastic and professional journalist. We know that creating a, and submitting a portfolio of shows mastering 11 categories can be a really laborious process. However, there's nothing better to demonstrate your holistic understanding of journalism than to reflect on the breadth of your work. We say congratulations to the Todd C. Smith Journalist of the Year winners and kudos to all of the applicants. In third place, we have Anna Woodward of Robinson High School. The judges said Anna had a well put together portfolio with an exceptional personal narrative and editing, leadership, and build, team building components. In second place, we have Maggie Taylor. She's in the blue shirt in the photograph on the right-hand side. Maggie 
um, did an excellent job telling her scholastic journalism story. Her master class on picking the proper lens for the right circumstance is fabulous. And first place winner is Catherine McCarthy of Boone High School. Catherine is a, had an excellent example of all aspects of the competition. Her leadership is, re is remarkable. She's clearly an asset to the staff and advisor. Every staff definitely needs her newbie guide. Congratulations to all applicants again and to the top three winners. Thank you. Good evening, I'm Callie Williams. I'm one of the District 3 co-directors and I have the honor tonight of announcing and um, recognizing our Teachers of the Year. So um, our Journalism Teacher of the Year Award is named after and in honor of long-term educator, Morty Shep. Our District 2, District 2 Teacher of the Year is Jessica Durbin. Jessica currently serves as advisor for the school newspaper named The Shield at Bishop Kennedy High School in Jacksonville. Our District 3 teacher is Katie Turkelson. Katie advises the Patriots Pride Yearbook, the Brantley Banner newspaper, and the online newspaper, BrantleyBanner.com, at Lake Brantley High School in Altamont Springs. David Pritchard is our District 4 teacher of the year. He currently advises the TV productions crew at Sickles High School in Tampa. Our District 6 Teacher of the Year is Omar Delgado. Omar is currently advising CCNN Live at Christopher Columbus High School in Miami. And Hope George is our District 7 Teacher of the Year. She advises the Stampede Yearbook at American Heritage School, Palm Beach and Delray Beach. Congratulations to all of our Teachers of the Year. And your 2021 FSPA Teacher of the Year is Omar Delgado of Christopher Columbus High School. Congratulations, Omar. All right, with some convention updates, I'm gonna give you some of the things to look for even after the fun has died down a little bit. There's still more for you to see. First of all, the updated program is live. And as soon as you get done looking at this video, you can go see updated links for sessions. You can see some of our um, gold medallion and teacher of the year and some of the different updated parts of the program, but especially those session links, which will link to uh, YouTube videos that were recorded on Friday session day. All right, convention contest invoices are coming soon. So that's something you wanna make sure that you get taken care of before the year ends. Don't want that hanging over your head in fall of 2021. So look for that on your wild apricot. When you log in, you should see that. Convention survey will be coming soon. We want a little bit of feedback on uh, the virtual parts of our convention. Certainly we're looking forward to getting back to face-to-face uh, -face convention, but there are some elements that we've used this year that we might be interested in doing again. And spring digital feedback is available now. You can log in and you can get the feedback sent to you. And that way you can share it with your students and give that feedback. And I think that's it for convention updates. Just one more. And that's that the um, convention contest feedback will be coming soon. We expect to really set this weekend. Uh -huh. Advisors will receive an email to that Thanks. effect. <laughs> So speaking of convention, con oh, actually not yet. We're not there yet. Still you, Brett. Here you go. I think this one's Adam. I don't want to steal his thunder. Okay, Adam, take it away. Yeah, thank you guys. Uh, we just want to take a really quick second to thank our sponsors. They do an amazing job in helping us be able to create uh, these conventions and make them as uh, good as we can. So I want to do a real quick thank you to all of our sponsors. They're going to show up here on the screen in a second. We have Jostin's Yearbook, Balfour Yearbook, Wallsworth Yearbook, Katie Studios, the UF Summer Media Institute, Leonard's Photography and Yearbook, Edit Stock, 
and Dean Stewart Photography and Yearbook. Once again, thank you guys so much for your sponsorship and support of student journalists here in the state of Florida. Thank you, Adam. Good afternoon, everybody, or good evening, or where, whatever time you're watching this. I'm Joe Humphrey, the uh, FSPA Evaluations Coordinator, and Britt and I will be uh, presenting uh, round two of our contest uh, results uh, after we did the spring digitals last week. And these are the convention contests. So these were all done last Thursday uh, and were judged and uh, we're happy to present the results to you today. And, and just a phenomenal turnout of people who entered and the variety and the, the quality of what we got uh, was impressive stuff. Absolutely. So let me take the first one here, Brett. We had academics photography. And with an honorable mention, we have Gracie Schwab of South Plantation High School. Third place, Madeline Arez of Coral Springs Charter School. Second place, Bria Kuntz of Pompano Beach High School. And first place, Kelsey Yan of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. And it looks like we're in the way. So I might just move us down here and hopefully that'll record that way too. I guess we'll find out tomorrow. All right, Brett, here you go. All right, next we have broadcast news themed episode. I think this was the one that I uh, was worked on from Monday to Wednesday of contest week, if I'm correct. And so let's get that started. Third place, Christopher Columbus High School, CCNN Live. Second place, MAS at Zelda Glazer, the high school edition. And our winner, Sickles High School, Sickles TV. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right, and literary magazine team, our honorable mention goes to the team from Steinbrenner High School, Grace Bielman, uh, Elke Stel Stelter, uh, Cy Thibel, and Emma Bunkley. Third place, Coral Gable Senior High School, Rodrigo Rosado, Alana Jefferson, and Emily Felipe. Second place, American Heritage Boca del Rey with Julia Abs Oh, pardon me. Let me go back a step here. Julia Absug, uh, Aliza Shazin, and Cole Moran, and Olivia Jaffe, and our winners from Oviedo High School, Veronica Maynard, Elliot Cyrus, and Diego Lara. All right, Britt, all yours. All right, add it to the beat. And we have outstanding middle school entry from Merritt Brown Middle School. Nico Bacot. Jaden Sutton, Matthew Buckley, and Abel Cisneros. Honorable mention goes to Pine View School with Felicity Chang, Jada Davison, and C. Nao Wang. And third place, Sickles High School, Jillian Horowitz, Josh Rielo, Walker Ramspot. Sorry. Second place goes to Alonzo and Tracy Morning High School, Thomas Hecker, and Joe Carvalho. And first place goes to Doral Academy with Stefania Acosta, Hans Kunski, Ana Julia Quintero, and Alexa Felipe. And this was just a fantastic video. We will definitely be sharing all of these on our website and uh, putting some out through social media, of course. Uh, but this was a terrific job uh, by the team from Doral Academy. I, I hope that's the mascot. I kind of want to see what happens there. I'm not. Gonna I think lie. I think this uh, this guy teaches uh, teaches like the lit mag there. No. Oh, okay. The, All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, next up, student life photography. Honorable mention: uh, Anna Cruz and Tate Krasowski Gazes of Gulliver Prep. Honorable mention to Kylie Wosick of Coral Springs Charter. Third place to Christiana Clemens of Pompano Beach High School. Second place uh, and the outstanding middle school entry. Love to see this. Angelica Rivera of Moss at Zelda Glazer. And first place, Leon Garcia of Christopher Columbus High School, capturing a poignant moment there at the school in Miami. Very nice, congratulations. All right, and 2021 PTI sports debate. Second place goes to Forest High School from Grayson Waters, Taylor Maine, Emily Ristow, and Jackson Miriam. It was and the winner is. It was interesting this year, Brett, because we normally just tell them, hey, just we just get us a two shot. And, uh, you know, it's not a technical category at all, but uh, they were producing full blown shows. <laughs> and the full blown show winner goes to Doral Academy, FBTV, Eric Hernandez, 
Lucas Shayab and Gabriel Castillo. Congratulations. Congrats. Bobbleheads and all. Yep. Um, all right. In our broadcast commentary category, honorable mention, Isaiah Swazi of Palm Beach Gardens High School. Third place, the team from American Heritage, Boca Del Rey, Angelica Mazza, Isabella Fidele, and Gabe Curry. Second place, the team from Forest High School, Triana Hernandez, Grace Bill, Abril, pardon me, and Cheyenne Paquette. And the winning broadcast commentary, the team from Christopher Columbus High School, including Christopher Gomez, Gianmarco Maestri, Damian Fernandez, and Andrew Falcone. Next up, we have broadcast PSA. And the outstanding middle school entry goes to Gulliver Prep from Mary Jose Larinas, Alexa Smith, and Alessandra Demis. Honorable mention goes to Christopher Columbus High School, Adrian Morgade, Alejandro Vital, Dominic Gatto, and Daniel Rossi Montero. Third place goes to Seminole Ridge High School, Nick Coffey, Travis Fritz, Zach Jeters, and Jacob White. Second place, Our Lady of Lords Academy, Rebecca Gonzalez and Riley Gould. And the winner, MAS at Zalda Glazer, Annie Kouris, Adriana Diaz, and Lily Harrison. Congratulations. Boy, that District 6 uh, FSPA Twitter account is going to be uh, in fuego uh, with all these uh, victories coming, uh, coming their way tonight down in Miami. Breaking the internet. Absolutely. All right, poetry. This is fun. I get to announce the outstanding middle school entry, Ryan Bowie of Farnell Middle School, a brand new uh, student run program starting up uh, this year. Uh, honorable mention, Garrett Shanley of Coral Springs Charter School. Third place to Cazette Gancy of J.W. Mitchell High School. Second place to Julia Absug of American Heritage Boca Del Rey. And the winning poem, is Braylon Lamb of Columbia High School. And this year's poetry category was a blackout poem. We gave him some text, told him to uh, take that text and turn it into a poem. And uh, that was actually, a great activity. I read this poem to my, uh, my fifth period today. They were, uh, they were digging it. They really enjoyed it. They appreciated it. Great right. contest. Yes. All right, next up we have module design and the winners are? Outstanding middle school entry from Katerina Mladenovic, Mladenovic, Gulliver Prep Middle School. And honorable mention goes to Riley Murphy from Lake Brantley High School. And third place goes to Ryan Brander from American Heritage, Boca del Rey. Second place goes to Ms. Batik, Haggerty High School. And the winner, Kate Miller, J.W. Mitchell High School. Nice module design there, very nice. Hey, Brett, those are, those are my students <laughs> in the module. I just thought I'd share that with you. Okay, nice. there nice. we go. News anchor. Uh, all right, honorable mention goes to Forest High School, Emma Beth Bowman, Lauren Burley, and Blake Verana. Third place, Christopher Columbus High School, Gianmarco Maestri, Chris Gomez, and Damian Fernandez. Second place, Marcelo Villar Ojito from Doral Academy. And the first place news anchor, uh, Marianne Brime of Our Lady of Lords Academy. Congratulations. And next up, we have opinion column for convention contests. And honorable mention goes to Shelby Brunson, Lake Brantley High School. Third place, Abigail Hobbs, American Heritage, Boca del Rey. Second place, Mahitha Rachmanadran, Pine View School. And first place goes to Jerem Gordon, Drive the School of the Arts. Next up is our newspaper team contest. Very challenging prompt this year, uh, uh, but they uh, competition rose to the occasion. Third place, the team from Haggerty High School, Zoe Young, Charlotte Manser, Lucas Goodwin, and Peyton Such. Second place, the West Shore Junior Senior High School, Sophia Bailey and McKenna Slaughter. And first place in newspaper team competition goes to the group from the McClay School. Uh, it's Mary Leah Yerdy, Logan Sunberg, Shelby Watson, and Veronica Marshall Kirk. 
uh, it dealt the prompt dealt with how your family was coping with uh, stress over the past year. And I feel like panic at the dinner table is such a great headline <laughs> uh, to talk about uh, all of our lives over the last year. Great headline. And I just want to know how the uh, second place team did that one with two team members. That, that's some impressive stuff. Absolutely. All right. Next up, we have broadcast news package. Honorable mention goes to Somerset Oaks Academy, Kayla Barrigo, Jacqueline Orozco, Janessa Fernandez, Mazaregos. I'm getting a little bit. Uh, did I miss a first name there? I, I'm the box. I believe you missed that. the first name there. My May, Maylan, I believe it is. All right. Sorry about that. Honorable mention and outstanding middle school entry goes to Gulliver Prep Middle from Amelie Santini and Bibi Eichenberg. Third place goes to West Broward High School, Tyler Cohen, Ethan Cates, Lauren Martinez, and Maria Gonzalez. Second place, MAS at Zelda Glazer, Sofia Dominguez, Isabella Gatamorta, Isabella Greener, and Alexander Bobadilla. And first place goes to Christopher Columbus High School, Juan Pablo Garcia Casals, Lucas Figueroa, Neo Gaetan, and Adrian Botten. Crank up the D6 Twitter machine once again. Absolutely. All right. Broadcast video tip. Honorable mention, Forest High School, Tori Shev uh, Shinavar, Aliyah Threats, Emily Ristow, and Aubrey Achoa. Third place in our outstanding middle school entry, the team from Gulliver Prep Middle. That's Eden Zur and Sarah Shapiro. Second place uh, from Moss at Zelda Glazer, we've got Victoria Perez, uh, Katarana Linder Conde, and Gabriela Gonzalez. And our winning team from Christopher Columbus High School, uh, Emmanuel Nacarado, Jordan Perez, Sebastian Broche, and Carlo Toca Castillo, um, who made us uh, some snacks. Next up, we have hand-drawn illustration. Honorable mention goes to Olivia Spinola, Coral Springs Charter. Third place goes to Veronica Maynard, Oviedo High School. Second place goes to Maria Gonzalez, Doral Academy. And first place goes to Sasha Bass, Dreyfus School of the Arts. That is a great drawing there. Outstanding. All right, in review writing, uh, Honorable mention goes to Dylan Masvidal of Moss at Zelda Glazer. Uh, honorable mention goes to Nadia Knobloch of Haggerty High School. Third place, uh, Harika Gavrigari of Steinbrenner High School. Second place, Alexandra Masulos of Pineview School. And first place, Taylor Hamilton of the McClay School. Next up, we have Instagram story and the winners. Outstanding middle school entry, Merritt Brown Middle School. Seen them a couple times. Halen Sims and Chloe Bichelle. Honorable mention goes to Grace Schwab at South Plantation High School. Third place goes to Coral Gable Senior High School with Natalie Abrahantes and Maria Fernandez. Second place goes to Cooper City High School, Emma Huerta and Chris Gomez. And first place goes to Arya Gupta from Pineview School. All right, congratulations to our winners in short story. Honorable mention goes to Allison Mizanim of Pineview School. Third place, Iris Sadvidoski of Doral Academy. Second place, Rachel Rodner of Pompano Beach High School. And first place, Melody Hernandez of Coral Gables Senior High School. Podcast is up next, and honorable mention goes to Drive to School of the Arts, Jenna Lee, George Wu, Miles Wang, and Yamaya Gaspard. Third place, Moss at Zelda Glazer, Brian Ferrero, Brian Olmo, and Dylan Masvidal. Second place goes to Joanna Mavas, Pineview School. And first place goes to Christopher Columbus High School, Juan Carlos Chowy, Anthony Martinez, Michael Martinez and Alexis Vivanco. Congratulations in press conference story. And thanks to our, uh, thanks to the Moffitt Cancer Center in Tampa for providing us with some guest speakers for our press conference. 
Third place, we have Sophia Canabal of Haggerty High School. Second place, Ed, Ed Cato Andrade of Pompano Beach High School. And winner in press conference story, Isabella Valise of American Heritage, Boca del Rey. And we have our yearbook team winners. Honorable mention goes to Coral Springs Charter School of Jasmine Potre, Marilyn Gantos, Charlie Kaplan, and Caroline Rekelme. Third place, Dreyfus School of the Arts, Cameron Bailey and Emma Kucher. Second place, Robinson High School, Hannah Carlson, Allie Clement, Zoe McIntyre, and Gabe Candelario. And first place, Haggerty High School, Serena Wilkerson, Sarah Hanant, Lorelai Stilwell, and Jada Mullen. All right. The prompt on this one, guys, was to uh, do a spread about backpacks. And so it was great to see uh, some, some really interesting takes on that, uh, on that prompt. So good job, everybody. Next up, multimedia team. Here the prompt was, find a story at lunch. <laughs> Honorable mention goes to Moss at Zelda Glazer, Isabella Kuzan, and Emma Sanchez. Honorable mention goes to Lake Brantley High School, Michaela Martindale. Brooke Holland, Avery Rainham, and Kyra Martin. Third place, the Dreyfus School of the Arts, uh, Sade Young, Alyssa Gary, and Arik Kareem. Second place, Haggerty High School, Gabriela Hernandez, Hayden Turner, Alexis Madling, and Skylar Glenn. And our winning multimedia team goes to Ivy Lamb, Haley Jackson, and Kate Becker of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. High school. What a great establishing shot for that multimedia package. When it comes to Adobe Spark, you don't mess with that Stoneman Douglas team. Let me tell Absolutely. you. Absolutely. All right. Next up, we have Mini Magazine Design, a new contest, a pretty exciting one. And the content was provided and they had to design a mini magazine. So, outstanding middle school entry went to Gulliver Prep Middle, Camila Figueroa, and Evelyn Kelly. Third place, Pineview School. From G. Zhu, Faith Bosman, Lindsay Luberecki, and Avery Johanning. Second place, Haggerty High School, Maggie Taylor, Hannah Sanchez, Eileen Ann, and Michelle Zhu. And first place, Driver School of the Arts, Allison Roberts, Sophia Roberts, Isabella Tickner, and Sasha Bass. I thought that this one, and by the way, these are my students as well pictured. Uh, they provided <laughs> all the content. My uh, my eighth grade U.S. history class uh, provided the content for this magazine. And, Is it true uh, that only pizza compensation was required for their uh, acting work? Pizza is all it took. And um, this typography really, uh, it just really screams uh, e-learning. <laughs> I just, I can definitely see it here. So nice job to the team from the Muse. All right, next up, short film. And we can't wait to share this. It's uh, a phenomenal uh, piece of work, uh, the winning entry, all of the entries really, but uh, let's take a look at them. Outstanding middle school entry was Moss at Zelda Glazer, Mariana Erboli, Isabella Mendez, Nia Costopolis, and Chelsea Jarquin. Honorable mention, American Heritage Boca del Rey, the staff of Stallion TV. Third place, the team from CCNN Films at Christopher Columbus High School. Second place, Key West High School, is on the board. Robert Malcolm, Christopher Andre Otto, Landon Stotts, and Tyler Verne. And the winning short film comes to us from Forest High School. Cole Webb, Kyle Allen, Jackson Reed, Jaden Tiara, and Liam Bishop from Forest High School. I'm already feeling the suspense just from that uh, screenshot we have there. So. Listen, the first 45 seconds of this film are the best thing you'll see all week i'm telling don't you. watch it alone is that what you're saying it's it's a really really cool oh wait that's it that's it for the uh on the spot or the convention contest so thank you everybody and now let's hand it back to adam who has some election news for us oh i don't know if i ever introduced myself during this everybody else did except me i'm Britt taylor past president and so adam i'd like to turn this over to you Yes, that's Britt's way of telling you that he didn't run for president again. That's <laughs> weird. Um, every two years, we have an election for president and vice president of FSPA. Uh, this year was no different, even though it was virtual. So I'd like to introduce to you our 2020 uh, school year 2022-2023 
president and vice president of FSPA. So our election results, Joni Oben from Robinson High School, also our district four co-director was elected president of FSPA. And our vice president is Michael Malcolm, Michael Malcolm Bjorkland from Columbia High School in Lake City. Um, and he is our district, he was our district two uh, director. So congratulations to Joni and Michael. I look forward to working with you guys. And I know everybody in with FSPA looks forward to your leadership and Britt, Thank you for a great presidency, but as he said, he will be continuing on in the board as past president. And Kristen, thank you for two great years of vice president. I just really wanted to thank you guys because what we had to do the last year and a half in a pandemic and still hold virtual conventions and everything was awesome. So great job, thanks. And I think is this you and me, Adam? That's us. All right. Sunshine Standout Publications. We named the all Florida publications and those were revealed um, a week ago. Tonight we reveal for the first time our Sunshine Standout Publications, the best of the best, 11 yearbooks, three broadcast news programs, two news magazines, one lit mag, and two online media. And this is really a test to see if Adam and I can count and I will take the first three, Adam. All right, first, uh, broadcast news program, 2020, 2021, Sunshine Standout, Firebird TV, Doral Academy Preparatory High School, The Rise. Sunshine Standout for The Marquee, Alexander W. Dreyfus, School for the Arts. And the newspaper, news magazine, 2021, Sunshine Standout, The Eagle Eye from Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Yearbook Sunshine Standout, Legacy, Deer Lake Middle School. Congratulations. Broadcast News Program Sunshine Standout, The Voyage from Christopher Columbus High School. Congratulations. And Yearbook Sunshine Standout, Legend, Boone High School. Congratulations. Next up, Online Media 2021 Sunshine Standout, HaggertyJourn.com at Haggerty High School. I know those guys. Next yearbook, Sunshine Standout, Ebb Tide from Fort Lauderdale High School. Congratulations. And 2020 Lit Mag, Sunshine Standout, Seeds in the Black Earth, Alexander W. Dreyfus School for the Arts. And I hope you caught their session at uh, FSPA convention, and it was wonderful. All right, News Magazine, Sunshine Standout, highlights Coral Gables Senior High School. Congratulations. Yearbook Sunshine Standout, Panther at HB Plant High School. Congratulations. And Yearbook Sunshine Standout, Fusion, Haggerty High School. Congratulations. Next, we have an online media Sunshine Standout, the Cavs Connect, Coral Gables Senior High School. Yearbook 2020 edition Sunshine Standout, the Stampede, J.W. Mitchell High School. And yearbook 2020 edition, Sunshine Standout, Airy Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Yearbook Sunshine Standout, The Enchanted, Miami Art Studio. Broadcast news program, Sunshine Standout, WROR TV, Oviedo High School. And yearbook Sunshine Standout, Concolor, Ruben Diario Middle School. Congratulations. And congratulations to the 2020 yearbook, Sunshine Standout, Odyssey from University High School. And that's the end of our Sunshine Standout. So we'd like to recognize again, I think this is year two, year three, it all blurs together, but it's a new program. It's really gaining traction. And, you know, thanks to Joe and everybody who's um, taken part, all the committees that take part in that process. It's a tough process to recognize all the wonderful publications we have in our state. I think as a final send off, I'd like to remind you that we are ready. Uh, next year, we're coming Ooh. back face to face. Uh, 1400 of us going to the Wyndham, April 21st to 23rd, 2022. Break out your chicken dinners and your bow ties because we are ready to get back to it. And we look forward to elbow bumps, fist bumps, handshakes, high fives, whatever it is we're allowed to do next year, we're doing it. Um, so I know uh, probably some other people have a little bit of a sign off to do, but 
It has certainly been a pleasure to serve as your president and to work with all these wonderful people. And as past president, I know I will continue to be working with them as well. It's been a fantastic year despite all the hurdles we've had and really just refreshing to see the, the great work that's done in our state. Thank you, Britt, for your service once again. Um, we're really, it's been an honor working with you and I look forward to continuing to work with you and Adam, of course, you as well, but you're not going anywhere. I'm here. And thank you to all of our advisors and staffs who participated this whole entire year, whether it was through contests, critiques, um, and our fall workshop and our spring workshop. You believed in what we could do and hopefully we brought you some value. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Come back next year, we'll be in person as much as possible. See ya. All right, good night, everybody.